Welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. I'm your boy Damar. This is Nikki. And today we have a fun video for you. We're going to do a question and answer segment based on our first year in medical school. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so we'll be asking you some pressing questions pertaining to med school and because we want the most honest answers, you have 30 seconds to answer each question. So the first one is what 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 were your expectations coming into med school? Oh so me. Um so when I was coming into med school I had the idea that right off the bat we're going to see patients, we're going to the hospital, it's going to be fun, you know, it's medical school. But then when I came, I realized that, you know, with everything, you have to know the basis first. So we were just going to lectures and getting the basic information in. So that's one of my expectations. So let me see, my expectation was that I was going to do surgery in the first semester. So I would expect to, if I see someone on the road and something happens to them, and I'm going to save their life. So the first instance, any illness and so on, the fact that I'm in first year and I'm in first semester and I'm in med school, I'm going to save their lives no matter what. This question is, what's a myth about med school? So a myth about med school is that you won't have time for anything else. And that's a lie. If you balance your time properly, you can still find time to do fun activity, to put in a party here or there, or just make time for your friends and family. Um, one myth that I found um, is that person tend to say medicine is the hardest thing you'll ever experience. I found that to be the opposite. If you study your work and you apply and understand the concepts, you can get through it like any other courses or field. What is something that you liked in your first year that you didn't expect to like and it doesn't have to be a course? Um, multiple choice questions. Because at first, I wasn't the type of person who likes multiple choice. I prefer to write the essay and stuff. But you realize that with medicine and a lot of information to cover, multiple choice is actually not so bad after all. Um, one thing that I like and I didn't think I would like is just the class as a whole because people tend to say medical students tend to be cocky or too cocky or too hype and so on. I tend to see the class as the whole group as a family and so on. You share things with each other and so on. So the next question is um, tell me a mistake or mistakes that you made in your first year and what are also some things that you did right this year. All right, so I would say for the first semester, I came into med school with the mentality that night before we work because that's what I'm accustomed to. But I realized that after first semester that you need to go through the material and have adequate time to review and be, you know, consistent. Okay, so a mistake that I think I've made was to like not know or understand the drugs. So I think it's something that I can learn if I just swap them and say this is for this and so on. Just swap them. That did not work. You have to know and know the drugs and how to apply them for different situations. Alright, so what I did right was that in second semester, I started to go through the material very early and I was more consistent. I also went to the anatomy lab more frequently and just get familiarized with the specimen. And what I did was to know my drugs. I tend to get my drugs, I have them pasted on my wall and so on, to just have a brief idea of what they are, what they're used for and so on. And this really helped me. Alright, so the next question is, what did you find especially difficult in your first year? Wow. To stay on top of the information, because there's so uh, many lectures going on each day, it's hard to keep up the pace. So that was very difficult for me. Uh, what I found difficult was late night studying. I am a quick sleeper and I like to go to my bed and I love to sleep but the fact that I have to be staying up to study late nights was very difficult for me. What 
uh, was your favorite course this year and why? Without a doubt, hematology was my favorite course and I don't know, I just had a good grasp of that course and I found um, the things there interesting and exciting. My favorite course this year was anatomy. Anatomy of anything is my favorite because I'm a practical person. I like to see things, I like to look at things and dissect things and so on. So I found anatomy to be my favorite. What was your least favorite course this year? All right, so I don't like anatomy, so anything with anatomy will be one of my worst courses. And res respiratory system, it was not so good. And especially since it starts midway in the semester, I find that it was very difficult for me to go through the material for that and understand it. Okay, my least favorite course, people would find this very weird, is embryology. I really don't like the lot of reading and so on. And I don't like those stuff. I'm a practical person as I said before, so I tend not to like embryology. Even though I did well, it was just not my favorite. What was your most memorable moment this year? I think my most memorable moment was pinning ceremony because it was the first time that it really hit me that, yes, Damar, you're made here in med school. Um, my most memorable moment was seeing my first cadaver. I thought I would be very, very scared, like, ooh, but it was really nice. Describe med school in one word. I would say fulfilling. I'll go with doable. What advice would you give to incoming first year students? So I would tell them that not to have the same high, high school mentality um, where you swat everything, you get all the information right at your fingertips. Um, when you're in med school, you have to do research, you have to do a lot of the studying and understanding of information on your own. So you need to prepare yourself for that. I would say to live. Um, don't let med school consume all your time and you have no time for your families or friends. You're just studying, studying all the time. I would not recommend that. Go to a party, have fun, just to save as long as you balance your time, you'll be just fine. Who was the most inspiring person for you this year? I would say the most inspiring person for me this year was Dr. Irvin. Um, she was a former supervisor for me and she was always motivating me saying Damar you can do this if this is your goal go after it and never let anything that is deterring you from getting to where you want to be get in the way so she was very inspiring and I really appreciate her. I would say um, the person who inspired me the most this year was Dr. Rico Matthews. He was my anatomy tutor and he was always there um, showing you the things if you don't understand it a specific way. He would say it, it, he would try to put it in the best way possible so you could get it. He would encourage us to guys go to the lab and he would say stay motivated. You can do this and remember that look at this. Come and look at this and even when the lab is over, he'd like do review sessions and so on and say guys what is this? What is this? What is this? So you have a better understanding. So he really motivate me to do well and to just love anatomy on our whole. Yeah, and he also he look he took time out of his busy busy schedule a lot of times to ensure that we have extra classes and that we know the information and we really appreciate him for that. Mm -hmm. So guys, it's important to just find someone who inspires you to do better and just look up to them and you'll do well through med school. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this question and answer segment and that you will have a better idea of what to expect when you're coming to med school this year or in the future. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time. See you soon. Bye.